here with Nate to Eight, and thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to share with you guys this beat behind the beat and also show you how I used Atlas to make this beat as well. So first off, I'll play the beat to you so you can hear it and then I'll explain to you what I used Atlas for and how I did it. So let's go. Awesome. So that's the breakdown kind of just in a quick snapshot. Um, the beat that I've got, I created this basically on these drums. So I started with the Atlas plugin. I loaded it up and I had this section here, which obviously you can use these MIDI clips here. I'll show you that in just a second though. So what I did to start with is I got an Atlas started here. I basically browsed a folder that I wanted on my hard drive. I knew where some of the samples were. I hit open and I hit analyze. Um, that allowed me to browse where these folders were, sorry, the samples were. And then I was able to create these little maps that I've got here. So inside of the maps, once you load the map, you can color code it, um, name it whatever you want, and then load a new kit here. So you've got this button which allows you to load new kits um, individually through these nine samples here. And you can load, it's pretty much at random, so it just loads up whatever kind of kits you have in this atlas. And you can zoom in or zoom out, whatever you decide to do. So the more you zoom in, obviously, it shows more samples. Um, you can see that these samples here are other, so I'll just have a listen to those. I think I actually might use that for a beat. I don't know when, <laughs> but I think they're kind of cool. Um, so I, to be honest, half of these samples that I've been listening to that this is drawn out of my computer, I didn't even know I had them. Um, some of the samples, I, I, I'm pretty sure I had them in a folder somewhere, but I didn't even know to even think about using them. And that's why I think this plugin will be really useful for people that have lots of sample files on their computer and they don't want to go searching through. Like, I mean, if you look at on this side here, I've got so many sample folders, different folders with different stuff, VST plugins, samples, all that kind of stuff. And for me to go through all of that stuff and try and get an idea out of that, I think this is where this plugin will really serve a huge purpose in that regard. Um, so like I said, I created a kit and this kit then served inside of my project here. Uh, just to correct myself as well, I think on a previous video I talked about this being the key of the actual samples, but that's not correct. The actual key is, uh, obviously it's the key that you're playing on your keyboard, so it just indicates which key that sits on, so in case you lose where you're going with that. Um, I figure that might be something they want to look at, but maybe not, just leave it with that. They do have some updates coming out soon, so see how they go with that. As far as I know, they'll be adding some cool features to this as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is the section down the bottom here. You've got the gain, shape, filter, pitch, and the pan dial, which you can use prior to your mixer here, um, which I've already set these into different mix tracks of their own. Um, and that obviously made the beat from there. So check out this plugin, it's really worth uh, your time. It's got a 14 day demo, you can trial it, unlimited access to the plugin. And then if you, if you like it, go out and purchase it. It's currently $99. I believe it will go up though after the promotional deal ends, but at this stage, just see what you think and uh, go hit it up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.